say a good day everyone i believe you have been enjoying this channel so today we'll be discussing on how to start fish farming business you know a lot of persons are thinking that they need all the millions to start so you'll be listening to testimony of young youths that we are actually trained by us how they start you are watching a live documentary on what they are doing and I would like you to understand that you just have to start something, get this book, study it carefully for proper guide. Everything you need to know in fish farming is inclusive in the material. Then you get started. Before you know, you also will have something as big as what you are watching here. Okay? So, you can see how lovely they are. See how the way they are swimming. It is a, a, a room is not built in a day, so I'm just I'm thinking of programs that I use to inspire you. All you need is water. All you need is water. So if you have water, you can get started either with the filling pond, etching pond, um, fiberglass, anyone you want to use. So just get started. Let's keep promoting cast food business in Nigeria okay so don't listen to side talk a situation will find ourselves in this country we don't need to depend on the government anymore we need to depend on what we can do and this business is a simple business it's not too complicated it's not very very difficult you just need to determine and get started it's a fish farm is located in Warri it's a big fish farm that I collaborate with for mass production of fish. So I'm very soon we'll be starting live training in this farm where we can train people on all the basic things that also need to know to be successful in fish farming business. As you can see, um, this is a wonderful place to be. So I hope that you also you will like to be in this place someday. But to be giving you updates for now, what we are doing mainly is more of training people online and we are putting things in place. Once the time is set, you can, you know, we can let you know. So very soon, very soon. So um, be inspired, be inspired with what you are hearing from us. So we love you. And we actually want you all to be successful in this business. That is why we take time to prepare this documentary to let you know on the basic things you need to do. So listen attentively to the testimony that is coming. Get inspired, be determined, be diligent, be committed to get something done. Thank you so much. Good day, everyone. And um, today we're going to be doing something that is very much important. And um, right here, when you take a look at what we have here, you can see different sizes of font. You can see this one. You can see this one. They are all looking very, very small. This particular font, this is 4 by 6. And four this is 4 by 4. This is 3 by 2. 2, sorry. 3 by 2. So now, many people have been asking, how do I start fish farming business? And I believe some of you have been following us on our Fish Caller YouTube channel. And I've been seeing mega farms. But today, I want us to be more practical. And the reason why we want to be practical is to enable upcoming entrepreneurs not to be afraid. So here with me, we want to be taking live testimony from some of our students. These students of ours are core members who, who are diligent and committed to a particular program called SAID. SAID means Skill Acquisition and Entrepreneurship Development, which have been introduced by the federal government to enable core members to acquire skills. So right here, I have with me um, Kopa Solomon and Kopa Aminu, who will be sharing testimony on how they were trained. As a matter of fact, by God grade, they were in my class, and uh, I was so surprised that they were determined to embark on this project out of the little money out of the Alawi they are receiving, they were able to start up this for themselves. 
Now let me tell you something. If they can do this now that they are serving out of the Alawi, they are receiving. What do you think will happen to them in the next five or ten years? I myself, I was once a core member and I also start I started my during my service here and I thank God so far on how he's helping me. So I would like them to be more practical to share the testimony. So in our channel today, we'll be listening to these core members, these gentlemen, to give us live testimonies on how they were able to to exhibit what they learned at the course of their training in camp. Thank you so much. All right. Good morning this afternoon, viewers. I am by name Kopashio Salomo Shahumba with the code number OD two two A slash one six five nine. I am serving presently here in Ondo State. I am from Benue State. First, I would like to acknowledge NYSC for this wonderful program called Said. Said means skill acquisition and entrepreneurship development. It's uh, secondary. I would like to acknowledge my in instructor in person of Mr. Joel Wanchuku, who is my facilitator. He has been doing well during our time right there in camp and in our post camp. He has been mentoring us very well. And with that, I and my colleague Mala Aminu, who are staying here, serving under Owale KBC, we have been able to raise a token out of the 33,000 Alawi that we have been receiving. To do this pound that you can see here, we have the one of uh, two by three, which is here, four by four, which is here. As you can see, they are fully stocked with fish inside. And the other one, which you see, which is the very bigger one, which is four by six. So we have been doing this. I hope with this um, small 33,000 that we have been receiving, we have been able to do this one. You can start something. You as a beginner, you don't have to be afraid. You can start it with a small money that you are having. You can imagine that. We as Copa, we are self-employed. With this, we can have something that we can be taking care of ourselves. And after our service year, if we can be able to raise this, I hope by God's grace, we can be able to have something very bigger than this. Thank you very much. And my colleague, if you have something to say, Mala Aminu. Um, that's a wonderful one from Copa Solomon. You know, this is so inspiring, so wonderful. You see so many Copas complaining that... Um, the Alawi that pay them is not reasonable. But just imagine what Copa Solomon and um, Aminu is doing. So um, I'm going to ask, they are going to feed the fish so that you can see the right one because I know that some people are not seeing it clear. So you understand that these people are really working because they have categories of fish here. They have um, juvenile, they have table size and you know upcoming ones. So I want to ask Aminu a question so that um, he will talk to us on the question now. Kofaminu, you know that uh, from my own experience, uh, by God's grace, I've been training core members for years yeah. in all the state. And uh, we see some people saying that Said is not um, good, that the uh, federal government should just gather the money, gather Alawi, and give people to go. So I want to ask you with the few months you have spent with NYC, do you think Said is um, profitable? So, hello, good afternoon. My name is Abu Bakr Aminu with stretch code OD22A 1709. Some people, all, I would say 80% of COP members, they are saying that Said is a scam. But to me, Said is not a scam. Because with Said, if you take it like as a scam, then Said will scam you. But if you take it as an important program that you will earn, that you will learn and develop yourself, it will be something in the future. Firstly, before I was introduced into the camp, I don't have any idea about fish farming. But after my introduction to the camp, I have interest in fish farming, in which I joined Mr. Joel, our trainer. I am very really happy to meet him because I have learned a lot. As part of what I have learned, I learned how to treat water how to check water pH and how to balance it for good fish farming. So he asked me a question that, Said, is it a scam or not? To me, 
site is not, is not a scam because if you if you participate in site program you will be fully equipped with the knowledge that can help you after your service so let me show you something that we have started as my colleague said it mr solomon this is our juveniles that we start to stock we stock them this month and this is our for spiegeling they are all they, we can say this one they are even off the table size we can even sell this one for smoking so with this one me i'm even happy to see that we have something i think there are some that are very very big here <laughs> if you do those ones see our biggest fish they are not active because they are not hungry right now we fed them this morning so that's why you'll see, you won't see them active so um that's a wonderful one from Copamino. you know uh, we are just doing this we are feeding this fish right now because of the documentary we want to do they have they have eaten and um you know giving them more food now it's only those that are very much hungry that will come up to eat again so i want to ask you because i'm so sure there are people who don't know what is called said except come members those who have stopped so i know that um some youth are watching this and um their prospective core members there are people who are hoping that someday they're going to come to camp to serve and we still have core members that are serving so what is the advice you have to to give to them are you telling them to take said serious so to me if you take said serious it's a chance for you to start your new life because after graduation, it, if you don't have anything to start, if you don't have anyone to employ you, but if you are lucky to change it, it's like you don't employ yourself. You are self-employed. Because with the little that you learn from Sayit, you can start to develop yourself, to be self-employed. You can even employ others to work under you. Because we need you to be employer of labor, not employees. Thank you, sir. All right, that's a wonderful one from you, and I know that God will grant both of you the energy to start. You know, let me tell you something every big thing starts small. Yeah, like those who have been watching our videos, some people will see watch a two fish fan, they were like, Wow, hey, oh man, why would I do this thing? So, you know, a two fish farm is one of the biggest farms in Nigeria or in Africa. But, um, let me just say the MD. Oh, good morning, my name is Abu Bakr Aminu. A currently serving crop member at Ondo State. I am here in A2 Fish Farm for skill acquisition training, which is under SAID. Before my camp activity, I don't have any interest in fish farm and I don't know anything about fish farming. But when I register with SAID, now I learn a lot from my mentor. Um, so after my after in camp training, I went to post camp training which even give me an advantage to visit this kind of farm. I learned a lot here. Um, part of what I learned is um, water treatment, fish production, prime management up to juveniles. So even now, I'm trying, to, I bought 1,000 finger lens that I want to train in order to get more knowledge about fish farming. I'm encouraging you also to join Said and learn more a lot because with only Said you can develop yourself and to be self-reliant even self-employed not self-employed self-employed thank you so let me take you to see what I can what we produce as you can see this is our fight we are doing well in the next one week, they will, they will be ready for selling. So let us go. We're going. Okay. As you can see, this one, they are doing well. This, the, the cloudy, dark place is fish that you are seeing. It's an ocean of fish. Oh, see another thing, guys, here that are doing well. 
this part of what, what we produce in A2 fish farm during my first training. Good morning, everybody. My name is Mutombo Hai in Ajeto. I'm an expo member. I started in Hondo State 2021, but this year one. I, during my camp, my camp in period, before I went to camp, I have no knowledge about fish farming or anything pertaining to it. Because in school, I was not an active student. I was a management student. I studied management. But when I came to camp, there was a program in camp called Said. When they mentioned it, I thought it's someone's name. But when they introduced it to us, I, they explained what Said means, and they give us many options to choose among many. So I decided to give into fish farming, which is agro allied Said. And my humble mentor, Mr. Yue Wanchuku, is the best of all. During my income period, I took his serious and he also saw the interest in me and he decided to pick me up. He brought me and trained me throughout my service here. He trained me well. I was able to do the training. He taught me how to uh, how to hard fish from the fry when they are small, small. When they are very tiny, that you hardly see them. From there, I can groom them to become fingerly. From there, to post fingerly, to juvenile to jumbo up to table size, we do that. Then, after my service here, what he turned out actually was in two ways, the farming and the, and the marketing aspect of it. So in the marketing aspect, he taught me how to prepare the tissue, to prepare fish barbecue, and how to dry it. And it is perfect. Right now, as I'm speaking to you as an expo member, I'm proud of myself and proud of you for making this wonderful impact through the NYC Said. After my service here, I went back to my base. In fact, when I was leaving, it was not even happy for, for me leaving, but when I, I, I went to my base, immediately, without waiting for a job, I set up a shop. The shop is located at St. Peter's Road, beside Tuscany Garden. If you go to just just out of St. Pierre's Road, the Stanley Garden, you see my shop, my, my shop there is fish, fish Club, where you can go there and enjoy yourself the best you can get your fish products. So after staying there for a while, I got a call from him, asking me to come down and meet him. In fact, I was so reluctant to come, but I made up my mind that since he's calling me, let me just come. But coming to meet him for the second time after my NRC year, it was it is a wonderful experience. As you can see here now, this is A2 farm. In fact, in Nigeria, the AD farm is one of it's one among the big and the best farms. Now me coming here, it's not that I drop any application or any interview I'll be conducted to me. But it's a great opportunity, it's an employment that people are looking for, they cannot get. But I'm saying this because what you can do, this will have to do is much, much, very much important than what you see in class and learn. My management course I studied in school. I do not even have any space in the level market to find myself, but here I'm working with happy and the welfare is wonderful. You see, I want to encourage each and every one of you be, be a, a present form member or a prospective form member if you are coming. Take it and make it a duty that you participate in Said. It is not easy out there. When we are in camp, they were telling us that it is, it is not easy. We will not understand until we finish our one year service and allow it to stop entering. Seriously, things are not easy. Said is not a scam. NYC is not a scam. If you develop yourself very well, I'm telling you, when you go out there, you like yourself and you fall in love with Saeed generally. So, okay, now, for me to, for you to verify what I'm saying, because in life we have some Dr. Thomas. Some people, no matter how you tell them, what you tell them, they'll never believe you until they see. Now, I want to use this video and show you 
our product, what this has agreed to produce. Let's go around and see. Look at this here. This fish here, this wonderful thing on this. This fish was seen that three weeks. This fish that three weeks to fish. And that finally, let's move on. We have a lot here. This, uh, this pond alone, this, this is a single pond. You can count up to 12,000. Single leaf. Let's move on. Okay. Let's move on. Okay, look at this one here. They are just two weeks. And they are very much, very much active. If you count there, you get like, I think 15,000. Just a single pond. This is another set here. They are also three weeks. I can see them moving up and down. They are very, very happy. Let's go to the next point. Kingdom. A2, A2, FIFA is the best in Nigeria and in Africa. Let's take that to our job, to, to, to the juvenile. Let them see the juvenile too. Good. These are jumbo size. These are jumbo size. You can see they have different, different sizes. Let's okay, I think I've seen all this. So presently, I was just want to appreciate the NYC Said. I want to appreciate NYC. I want to thank my humble facilitator, Mr. Jua Wachuku. I also want to appreciate A2 Fish Farm for this privilege. This is a wonderful opportunity given to me. This is a lifetime opportunity. Uh, now, this is a A2 Fish Farm in the Hatch Department. It's just one month and some weeks old. And you can see what we have on ground. It's much, much amazing. And I pray that the Almighty God will bless Saeed, not Saeed. We will bless uh, my facilitator, Mr. Joe Antiku, and Etufan. Anywhere you are in Nigeria, or even outside, because we are intended to, to explore fish, uh, the world with fish. So anywhere you are in Nigeria and you need fish, fingerlings from different sizes, fingerlings, or fingerlings, juveniles, and jumbo, just talk to us at Etu Fish Farm. We are here to give you the best. Thank you and God bless you all. Okay, good morning everyone. My name is Kukongo Ayinandiko. I'm an ESCO member. Uh, I started in Hondo Street, precisely in 2021, but this one. During my, before I came to camp, I was not an agriculture student, nor had any knowledge of training fish. But during our income training, they produce up to, to uh, Saeed and there were several options among the fish. I mean, I picked the choice of fish farming. And to the glory of God, right now I'm here, let me say I'm an expert in fish aspect. During my camp, in camp I took it seriously and after that, after which I proceed to my post camp training. I also took it seriously. After my NY service here, after my service here. Okay, then why I was in, in, farm, in, my, in my NYC year, I learned many things about fish farming. One, I learned how to ask fish. Now I can ask it very well. Then I had to train, we train fish while we are in camp. We train it from 
King Ali, to Juvenile, to Jumbo, up to the temple side, and we are able to.